Hi, welcome back to my channel. Please, if you're seeing my face for the very first time, consider to hit on the red subscribe button and subscribe to the channel. And do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that you'll be informed whenever I post a new video. And my name is Vicky, in case you're wondering what my name is. Oh, so today I don't want to be wasting much of your time. I don't want to be talking too much about anything. I will just be going straight into the video ASAP so you guys do not come for me actually so first of all i'll be talking about the hawaii tax you know yesterday the housemates had their hawaii tax and the hawaii tax it has like three different sections like three different activities you understand from the housemates trying to create a jingle to them playing a sack game some sort of different kind of game which i will be definitely showing you guys a clip of it the house we are shared into three different group which is the papaya group gold and then the carrot group and then the team carrots consists of praise watoni lacon nengi and prince and then team gold con consists of kidwire lucy brito v and erica and then team papaya consists of new dorothy ozo chukiti and tolani badge you understand so it started from big brother giving them one hour to actually prepare for their jingle you guess and then the housemates they they presented their all of them presented the jingle they were able to actually create in the space of one hour hey 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 how i cannot so hey, with her bird hey, extract hey. Especially formulated for healthy skin Makes your skin pop okay You look ever younger For naturally made your skin Go for Hawaii Hawaii For beautiful and smoother skin So after the jingle, they actually played a sack game per se, you understand? You know that time when we were in secondary school Or when we are, we go for parties and then we enter into sack And then we keep jumping, jumping, jumping They had to jump to go get some fruit from one end to the other. Oh, mom, it's not easy. <laughs> Then they moved on to also play this a uh, game of I think tossing ball into from one end into the other bucket. You know? Team Carrot, which consists of Praise, Watoni, Lacon, Nengi, and Prince, were the winner of the game and they were rewarded with 2 million naira for the game. And the housemates were really, really excited after that. And then during the course of the practice or whatever you get, we just saw, you understand, for some reason we have been seeing Lucy and Praise in some sort of situation, in some sort of position that I don't understand if they are about to give themselves some aggressive cuddling, like Katrina said, because you cannot trust Praise with this housemate because praise is not to be trusted because it just happened between him and katrina you just saw them in just one sec and then the the, the the rest was history you know how it all went down you get so now that we've been seeing the other time we saw lucy on his bed and then this other time we are seeing what we are seeing i don't know what you guys have to say about this <laughs> Is it true or is it true? Come that much. No, 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 that, this was bad girl. Wait. 
<laughs> so what are you guys saying about this whole drama that has been going? What do you guys think about this whole drama? Because Lucy, who was always abusing Nengi of wanting men or liking men to be touching her and all that and all that, has never slept in anybody's bed. But now you see Lucy. Lucy is already on somebody's bed. And from there now, look at her. What she is actually doing with praise. I don't know what we should call that. I don't know if we should say that that's just a joke or but that is not the habit that we saw in her when she earlier came this is just starting this week and we are wondering where is all this whole drama of lucy and praise actually coming for but trust me guys as your um, amiable queen my eyes are on them and i'll be so glad to bring you guys any juicy details i find out about them moving on guys i don't know if i should say that is v actually pregnant or not because v had a conversation with new and v was telling you that she has not seen her period and her appetite has actually increased and i'm like hey what's actually going on between these baby niger housemates eh have they been doing some things that we have not been noticing or oh, what's what's what in what is that is that <laughs> what is that thing that they are doing that we actually do not know about you guys because okay it's possible for she to not to see her period and then she's not pregnant but you know like the are that we are now both of us know what we want to be thinking you get so this is just what she actually told new <laughs> And then moving on, she had a conversation with Tolani Bad and Erica, and she was like, she does not know how she will be surviving in the next five weeks because her congee is getting stronger and stronger by the day and i'm like hey so where is the one that we, we are now thinking that she is pregnant and she's missing period is it that new has not been doing his job or is it that as in i don't understand what has been going on because the whole thing is contradicting you get at some point we are thinking that they are doing and then this one she's talking about congee what is happening are they trying to confuse us are they trying to say that what our eyes has been seen has not been true is that what they are trying to say well whatever it is just listen to the conversation she actually had with um, Erica and Tulani Badge. I don't know. <laughs> if I'm if, if God willing, I'm here for another five weeks. I don't know if my body can handle that. Mm -hmm. It can. Huh? What? Why would it handle it? It can. can. In some in some of the country. Oh, oh no. okay, okay, okay. okay. And yeah. Yeah, every day getting harder. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Yesterday was also her birthday, which also gave New and other housemates the opportunity to actually give her a lovely speech. And guys, you will not believe how sweet the whole of these housemates were. Everybody gave them, they gave their speech like they normally do, and everybody dropped her a message on her card like they normally do. And then the most, the most romantic and the most lovely one was the one that New actually gave to her like Neo gave V a very long speech that actually made her shed tears like <laughs> I go love oh even me I won't love oh these people are just making me feel jealous like seriously you understand so let me just show you guys the clip <laughs> about all your fears, about your journey and everything. I pray that all those who turn to testimonies. I like the fact that you did for me because every time you tell me say you did for me, I tell you say I did for you and you know say I did for you. So last last eh, now me and you all do right do. You understand? I love you. No cap. No cap. Did you guys see that tears right there? You did see that Neo actually told her that he loves her and she also told me that she loves him and then i'm like hi love in one tente love in one tente because at this very point this is love they actually i think this is the first time they're actually confessing their feelings to each other and then after they told each other they loved each other and then every other thing new was like ah if my family member just wake up and see this video they'll be like ah new don't they confess love with this one when you don't they tell woman i love you you understand and then guys all of a sudden you know why we were just watching the show you know coyote has a way of just making somebody miss a chunk of a better part of an if of a conversation you understand he just brought us to nengi and also that night and you know normally we always have 
keeping up with Ozo and Lengi before bedtime, you understand? They always have this routine of going to sit down on the dining table, having a conversation, eating, talking, like catching up before they finally go to bed. So we actually saw them having a conversation and it's like Lengi actually told Ozo something that really broke Ozo's heart. You need to see the stern and cold look Ozo actually gave to Nengi. But from the conversation we heard, it's like Nengi actually was telling Ozo that she hopes her action is actually not leading him on. Like she hopes that what she's actually doing with him, their friendship, something of sort, you understand? And then Ozo was weak. What I'm having fun, I'm just saying like, I hope you won't be... I hope you... I don't know, man. I hope you don't misunderstand it. Yeah. Hey, God. Are you still with you? Like, also actually told her that he really, 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 really feels something deep for her, but he's not, in fact, he's not been able to actually express it. But I really know that that conversation that Nengi actually had with Ozo that night really, really tore his heart apart like it, it really shredded his heart also actually really felt really bad about it and i don't know how he's gonna handle it but that was just basically it for last night you get see that's it guys thank you so very much for watching my video i actually do not want to make this video so long i hope you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up leave me a comment down below and please if you have not subscribed to my channel do well to hit on the red subscribe button subscribing to the channel turning on your notification bell so that youtube will inform you whenever i post a new video i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys